Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, it's been a couple of days since we played the Hearthstone, and I must confess that I actually did download it to my phone, but I never opened it. So, <laughs> but I downloaded it. So it's a step forward. But I was a bit intimidated by the complexity of the game. Everything it has. And I can't remember a single thing we did when we played it. So Yeah, it's something you learn along the way you play the game. You don't just read the manual and start playing the game. You need to have matches under your belt and quite a few matches under your belt. Uh, until you learn the whole concept of the game. But that's probably the reason uh, I made an, an assumption that your gaming experience probably isn't <laughs> as good as mine. So I'm gonna take a step back and <clears throat> go back a couple of years, 30 years for exactly, and go back to the uh, game that I started my gaming uh, experience, which is the Mega Man franchise. So hopefully this will be the one uh, you will find more appealing and easier to pick up and start playing. And we are apparently playing with PlayStation today. Yeah, I do own a PlayStation too. <laughs> Surprise! I'm not, I'm not just playing with my PC. Let's go. I want to see what kind of a game this is. <laughs> okay, so Me Mega Man, the story of Mega Man is uh, in the year 2000. <laughs> okay, it's not gonna. We have to remember these games mostly yeah. have, uh, came out in the 80s. So uh, in the 80s, people thought that in the year 2000, everybody is a robot. But there's a. Uh, uh, virus which infects other robots and they come e become evil and okay. a good doctor uh, makes Mega Man to defeat these evil robots that's the basic principle of it there's uh, the main bad guy is Dr. Wily who is uh, who created the virus this one no, no that's Mega Man all right okay so the premise of the game has been the same for 30 years there's eight robot masters and you have to defeat them in order to get to the uh, boss stages, which means like, for example, Dr. Wily is the uh, main boss in the first six games. Right. And then you have to defeat uh, Dr. Wily. Every time you defeat a boss, uh, you gain his power. Every boss has its own weakness. For example, uh, Bubble Man, for some reason, is weak to Metal Man. If you play Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Metal Man is the one to start the game. Okay. So, it's really easy. There's uh, four buttons to press. You you move by pressing right or left. Yes. Up and down does nothing. Alright. X jumps All right. and square shoots. Okay. <laughs> it's not Only four. Only four. Only four. Okay, so we're at the end of the first level. Yes. You can tell it by the Dr. Wily sign and the sliding doors. Every every boss has a different pattern and the weapons are different, so it's just trial and error. Shoot and jump. And that's it. Or is there something else coming? Yeah, so, uh, in Metal, Metal Man, you don't want to go past the uh, halfway of the stage. Why? Because Metal Man then will jump to your side, and that's bad. But let's see what our good friend Bubble Man looks like. These, <laughs> these graphics are like... This They're 8 bits. So. Yeah, yeah, but... <laughs> I'm baffled that you don't... You haven't played this game before. Because... Did, we, you, did you tell me which, which console was it in? Uh, Nintendo, the ori original Nintendo. Okay. The 8-bit one. Yeah, but we had that. 
Yeah, but you didn't have this game or any game of this franchise, which is kind of yeah, strange. But... We're we're the same age. Just... Come on! Hitboxes in these games are really, really strange. What is a hitbox? Hitbox is. Uh, imagine a square. Yeah. Uh, on the edges of that uh, character, Mega Man. Yes. Like a solid square. Yes. Even though there's there isn't anything, for example, uh, if you draw drew a square, there isn't anything in the top right. Yes. If there's something, if enemy is is there, it will still hit you. Okay, so you have to think you're a square. It's a square, yeah. even if it's not. Yeah. Okay. And the enemies are the same. All right. Luckily, we don't have to start all over again. No, it's my turn. Let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> because you're underwater, you have to remember that there's no gravity here. So if you jump, you can hit that ceiling there. So you have to... Now you tap, tap your jump, but if you press jump, you will hit the ceiling. Oh. That's not that hard. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's a beginner's trap. <laughs> Although you you saw How me. How many beginner's trap there are? A, a lot. Although you saw me run past that, I actually stopped right before I went uh, over the edge. Was it here? Not yet. Just run. It's the next one. Just run. That's not an option. There we go. A little higher. Now you this have to aim. Crazy. Ah! <laughs> Press start. Start. What's your start? That one. It says options. Yeah, but it's PlayStation, so it can stay, say start for some okay. reason. So I'll be even able to look out. Look out for what? What does that do? It's a bat. It looks like a bar. And those rapid shoot carrots, so... It already shot me once. You need to dodge those. I can try. There's the X button which jumps, so I think that would be like easier <laughs> that way. <laughs> and not with your face. Let's see what how you what do with is this. AB? Oh my god! What? What? You're safe if you stand there. Yeah, but where should I go? You need to stand on the second uh, ledge there, and every time he shoot uh, the thingy shoots you, you need to jump. Jump. So. And shoot at the same time. You never stop shooting. <laughs> shoot, shoot, <laughs> jump. That's... At the same time, how do you yeah, do yeah. that? I only have one thumb. I can do it for you. <laughs> I can go past that so you can get to the woodman. I, I don't know if I want to see the woodman. Oh, so this is the way to go through this. Just run. I thought you have to kill everything. No, <laughs> no. I, I never said you had to. I'm gonna let you play now. There's gonna be another beginner's trap. No, you have to... Do I fall if I go here? No, no. You will stay there. Those ones. What? What are they? They will jump and try to uh, make you fall. And also those little birds. You. We, we can't say that. We need to delete that. Oh, ah. you're at the boss. No. No, yeah. no. Do we have to do this all over again? What? No. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna die. You can press right and down to uh, shoot diagonally. diagonally. Like. At the same time you shoot. And also upward. Uh, it goes the same that way. Uh -huh. And it, uh, this is the only weapon it applies to. And they will kill me. Yes. 
There's actually an easy way to go past those. Should I like jump over or? Nope. I'm gonna show you the easy way. Now I want to see. I've seen this now. This was the number two, right? Yeah, I want to show one thing. You can show me one thing. Then you oh. will show me the number six. I want to see the difference. All right. I want to show you quick man stage. This is where most of the uh, newcomers of this game stops playing. And still as a... I would call myself a veteran Mega Man 2 player because I played this uh, when I was five. How long ago was that? Too long. <laughs> Mega Man is like notorious on you have to learn the game by dying and dying and dying and dying. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. So now you want to see the six. six because it seems different, but I don't know if it is. It looks just like the previous one. But there's a uh, there's a few differences in the game. For example, the boss menu. Uh, boss screen before the uh, stage itself. Of course there's also, you can load up your normal shots. There's two different options for that. There's also a slide. Yeah, but they didn't do anything with the graphics. Is it still a square? Uh, no, it's more detailed. Okay. But it's still 8 bits, so there's not much you can do. How long does it take for you to play like the Mega Man 2? from start to the end. Like if, if you started playing now, would you would you finish today? Oh well, yeah, easily. Yeah. I, I probably less than an hour. Okay. Yeah, for me. Yeah, for you, I asked yeah, for yeah. you. Less than an hour easily. Yeah, I would probably stuck somewhere and, and I would finish at all, but for you. Yeah, I think it took me like probably a couple of months before I fin uh, finished the first boss when I was five. Okay. I think this is considered a retro game, right? This is like a real retro game, All right. because this is the 8-bit era. I don't, I don't like retro. Oh, or okay. 80s, okay. style-wise. Do they have new Mega Mans? Yeah, but they're, they're bad. Because it needs to be a 2D size size Why? Score. Why? I don't see why. It just need, needs to be. I remember when I played this first time, this was the first boss I ever tried. Top man. Yeah, and I beat this boss. I, I one shot it, so I didn't. I one shot the whole uh, map. And then I one shot the boss also, though I was pretty proud of it. So I tried. Are you proud of me? That's a step in the right way. In one way? No. You, you just. Yeah, I get that this is your childhood. But it's 2020. I want a modern game. But I still say it's what, 2020. Yes, I won. Almost died. Yeah, I can see that. You are a bit rusty. <sighs> we tried something hard and we tried something easy. It can't be a retro game. It needs to be a game suitable for 2020. Uh huh. I think I know just the game. See you next time.